Hello, my name is Gabriela Villa. I am sitting here with my brother Eric Villa. The date is December 10th, 2017, and we are recording this interview in Chicago, Illinois. How are you, Eric? I am doing well, Gabriela. Is it okay if I ask you a couple of questions? Yes, it's okay. All right. So, when were you born? I was born April 21st, 1988, on a Thursday. Where? In a city called Morelia, which is the capital of the state of Michoacan in Mexico. All right. How old were you when you first came to the United States? I was told that I was three months old when I moved here. I don't remember because obviously my parents at three months old carried me. So that's something I do not remember. Your parents were the ones who told you how old you were? Yes, they did. All right. How did you get here? Well, they told me, my parents, that um, a family member living here in the United States already had a way of getting them permission to move to the United States through a work permit. So when they found out, they both decided to use the opportunity and come to the United States. Were your parents married already? Yes, they were married. And the relative, who was he? He is the husband of my mom's oldest sister. All right. Was it hard for you to just leave Mexico? I cannot answer that because I was only three months old, like I said. But a couple of times that I've gone to Mexico to visit family, I see that they made the decision to leave their country to give me an opportunity for something better that would have not been so easy to obtain like an education in Mexico. How was your childhood like? Well, I grew up being the oldest brother with a younger sister of two year difference. So, you know, I don't remember being playful with her much. So it was more like hanging out with friends at school than with my own sister. What do you think your life would have been if you would have not come to the United States? Not sure, but I would say maybe follow in the footsteps of, you know, family that I know of still living in Mexico who had the opportunity to come to the United States but didn't, so they're still in Mexico. And I guess just financially, you know, it's a struggle because work in Mexico is pretty difficult compared to the United States. So I would have probably been working with not such a great income like the opportunity here in the United States is. Now, do you think... Life would be easier here or over there? I would say here just because of the opportunities that are available to anybody who's willing to take up the challenge. So you're glad you came? I'm glad my parents made the decision to come over to the United States from Mexico. Because at three months old, I don't think I had any say so in it. I couldn't talk, so I couldn't say anything. Tell me about your parents. Um, 
both born the same year, 1963. Uh, both born in the same, uh, you can say, town outside of the main city of Morelia, where I was born. Uh, both got married at the age of 24. Both of them still have their parents living, all four of my grandparents, which is a blessing. Not a lot of people can say. Um, they're okay with speaking English, but just not well because their childhood in Mexico was a struggle to get an education, so... That did not help. Did you have a nickname as a child? Mm, that I remember, no. How would you describe a perfect day when you were young? Perfect day when I was young. Um, at least 10 friends would gather at the park. And it'd be a perfect five-on-five five baseball game instead of if it were only four kids, five kids. Ten's always better. The better game. All right. Thank you, Eric. No problem, Gabriela. Anytime.